Hello, we wanted to make a quick video to go over a few changes happening next month. In this video, we will talk about changes to the ASAP system, the OASIS submission halt period, major changes on OASIS C1 ICD-9 version, plus the conversion from our OASIS C forms to the new OASIS C1 forms. Effective January 1, 2015, OASIS assessment data will be submitted to CMS via the National OASIS Assessment Submission and Processing System, or ASAP. With the implementation of the OASIS ASAP system, home health agencies will no longer submit OASIS assessment data to CMS via the state database. To access the OASIS ASAP system, providers will need the KEYS HHA user ID. If you currently have a KEYS HHA user ID, no action is required. This user ID will allow access to both OASIS ASAP submission system and CASPER reporting system. If you do not have a KEYS HHA user ID, refer to the CMSNet online registration application. We will list the links on our website along with other relevant and important links. Once in the portal, you will click where it says Access Request Form. There you will enter the CCN state and zip code for your facility. After entering the correct information, you will be presented with an enrollment page. After you complete and submit the information, it will take up to two full business days for a response. Once you have registered for the CMS Net User ID, you will receive an email containing your login information. Using this information, you will connect through the CMS Secure Access Service. If you're a new user, you'll need to utilize the online user registration tool to obtain key submission login ID. There, you will click on the OASIS submission. After that, you will be prompted to enter your national key, username, and password. The OASIS file submission system file upload page will come up. After that, click on the browse and browse the file for a zip file containing the OASIS file in your computer. After submitting the file, you can access the CASPER reporting link to check the final validation report. If you encounter any difficulties connecting to the CMS net, contact the CMS Remote User Support Help Desk at 888-238-2122. In order to transition data from our state database to ASAP, the OASA submission system will be shut down at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 26, 2014. The OASIS ASAP system will be available at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 1, 2015. Files submitted on or after January 1, 2015 must follow version 2.10, which supports OASIS C, and versions 2.11, which support OASIS C1 of the OASIS data submission specifications. IGEA will make sure to convert your files accordingly. If for any reason you exported OASIS C on or before December 26 but didn't get a chance to submit them, make sure to roll back the OASIS and export them again. IGEA will make sure they are exported to the right format. Should you experience any issues, please email help at qtso.com or call 1-800-339-9313. As far as the OASIS C1 changes, we want to talk about the OASIS C1 ICD version, and we'd like to start with a bigger change, the introduction of M1309 OASIS item. This item documents the number of pressure ulcers that are new or have worsened, increased in numeral stage since the most recent start of care or resumption of care assessment. M1309 was added for the discharge OASIS only. Definition of pressure ulcer stages are derived from the National Pressure Ulcer Advisory Panel. We have added M1309 to our IGEA HHC OASIS C1 version as well as our IPOC OASIS C1 forms. There's a group of OASIS C items that have changed significantly so that their numeric value has been changed. Agencies should be particularly cautious when completing these questions as the meaning or many of them have been altered. The following list of OASIS items has been discontinued and no replacements have been added for them. For a complete list of OASIS changes, please review the link provided. Finally, we would like to update all of our OASIS C forms to OASIS C1, ICD-9, 
starting on January 1, 2015. All of the services that have active Oasis C forms will be discontinued as of December 31, 2014, and all of the new Oasis C1 will be added with the effective date of January 1, 2015. We will make sure to replace all currently scheduled forms that may have been scheduled for the year 2015. If a form is scheduled for the year 2014, but the actual date of service ends up being on or after January 1, 2015, we will prompt users to change the OASIS type to a C1 version of that OASIS. These are all the updates that we have at this time for OASIS C1. Please feel free to send us questions or comments to support at endurasystem.com and don't forget to check our industry buzz and announcements section for more updates and information. And as always, thanks for watching.